Hello fans and friends across the universe and welcome to my YouTube channel from me to you. My name is Keir Smith and today I'm back with another Fab Four video. I'm going through each of the Beatles 12 UK studio albums and choosing my Fab Four, my four favourite songs from each of the albums. I've posted videos for Please Please Me with the Beatles and A Hard Day's Night so today I'm choosing my Fab Four from the Beatles fourth UK studio album. Beatles for Sale. Last time when I told you my selections for A Hard Day's Night, I told you that it was easy and I had no trouble at all choosing the four songs. Well, with Beatles for Sale, it was a bit more difficult, I must admit. I got three together relatively quickly, but I had some trouble choosing the fourth. And once again, while these are in no particular order, on this list, I'll leave that difficult fourth selection until last. I'd like to start this particular Fab Four with the album opener, No Reply, and this is a song that has rocketed up in my affections over the last three or four years. No Reply is a great story song, and it tells a complete story. Inspired by the Ray's version of the song Silhouettes, it's about a man who is unable to contact his girlfriend who he suspects is being unfaithful. It's not a new theme by any stretch, but the melodic touch of the Beatles was reaching new heights. I'm of the opinion that the Beatles really did get better with each album, but I'm never sure whether it's a case of me thinking that John's vocal performances were better or the songs are better than what had come before, but I suspect it's a mix of both. But in particular, when John sings, I tried to telephone, they said you were not home, that's a lie. When he sings, that's a lie, and what he does with his voice, that makes me go weak at the knees. Elsewhere, I love those hand claps that go with the If I Were You, I'd Realise That I part. Brilliant harmonies once again between John and Paul. And all in all, it's another pretty perfect album opener. My second selection is I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, which I think is a fantastic song and could well have been influenced by the country music that the Beatles would have heard on American radio as they drove across the country on tour in 1964. It does have a country twang to it and an air of melancholy that can be found in a lot of John's songs that were released that year. And it's too easy to take it for granted, but once again, I have to point out how great these harmonies are when John and Paul unite perfectly again and sing, though tonight she's made me sad, I still love her. Just brilliant, perfect. And of course, the song is bookended by that lovely clean guitar riff by George. I'm happy to say that this is my favourite song on the album. My third selection is I'll Follow the Sun and this is another really pretty melody, so easy on the ear and it's understated but no less brilliant for that. And it's a song that has that sad happy quality to it which is captured beautifully by John's harmony in the middle eight when he sings in a rather downbeat voice and now the time has come and so my love I must go. It's short and sweet but it's perfect and whenever I listen to this song I always feel like there's an air of sadness about it but by the end of the song I always think to myself it'll be all right and I love that. So the tricky fourth selection and it was tricky because there's other great songs on this album of course but I'm going to go with What You're Doing. I love this song. It's led by Ringo's choppy drumming and built around George's simple guitar riff. And of course, it's very melodic and catchy. Paul sings it beautifully. And Paul had pretty much perfected his vocal by 1964. Everything he sang from this point on for me was pretty much note perfect to my ears. I really like the guitar solo on this song and it's coupled with that jangly barrel house style piano which is really cool. And Paul actually called it a bit of filler, but I think it's fab. So there you have it. No reply. I don't want to spoil the party. I'll follow the sun and what you're doing. My fab four from Beatles for Sale. And as always, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. So please leave your fab four selections in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll be back next week with my Fab Four selections from the Help album. Until then, peace and love. Bye for now.